<clears throat> but anyway, so I took that engine that used to be in this and took it down and gave it to Jeff this morning. He's the one that's got them Studi Bakers. And uh, I'm about to put my trailer back in the woods. I took, I gave him a, or loaned him my engine stand, the one that you can put an engine on and run it. Cause he's gonna set my old motor up on that and run it. And he might just do a head job on that one and poke that in his Studebaker. He's got a 400 automatic transmission. I was thinking before I backed the trailer in here though, I had some big old ugly stumps here a while back and I had cut them somewhat, but I still had a few like that one right there. This one right here, I think this one is the one that's a maple. Man, that thing's hard. But I got a fresh saw blade in there and uh, uh, that's, a, that's a piece that I already cut right there. So if I could, and I think that's just a pine there, that should cut pretty easy. And I got a couple back here. This one here, I didn't cut on a little bit and gave up. It was, it might be a hardwood too, another maple or something. Look how something's been rooting around the edges of it. That's interesting to me. Yeah, some kind of animal rooting around the base of that stump. But I was thinking if I cut this stump and that stump and that stump, see, I, I took out a couple more trees here the other day to make me a little place here to to park my trailer and see my property line is back there <clears throat> so from here I got more than 10 feet to the property line so I put my trailer right in here and have it out of the way but I think I will run down there and grab me a, <clears throat> a fresh saw blade I had some sharpened up here a while back cut these stumps here and then uh, it'll, yeah and then uh, back a trailer in and then I'm gonna pull that pontoon boat out and we're gonna put a filter uh, a gas filter on it I got a new top to go on it I've got the battery that's I've been using to run that Chevy motor on that engine stand in the garage that goes back in it and I throw a little extra gas treatment in that gas the gas that's in there is uh, it's non-ethanol gas, so it should be good. Uh, and we're we're not coming up on time of the year where we start thinking about putting, getting back out on the water, which is just fabulous. You can't you can't beat that. That's like the best thing ever around here. I mean, that's what we that's what we live here for. So we can get out on the lake, ride around in nice weather in the summertime. It's a rig bob. So. So I go out here and get my little chainsaw, my little lead electric chainsaw, and uh, maybe I got enough. Maybe I got enough battery to <clears throat> cut a few stumps. I put my fresh chainsaw blade on it, and we'll uh, we'll go do that. Okay, okay.